Mombasa is the second largest city in Kenya and today I'm excited to be bringing to you some of the things you can come and do here in Mombasa. Some of the most affordable things you can do here in Mombasa, the second largest city in Kenya. Basically more than just coming to see the beach, more activities that you can enjoy. I'm excited for this video and if you are, hit the like button and we can first do the intro. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. For those who are new, my name is Damaris Njenga. I create travel and lifestyle videos and today I'm excited to be bringing to you yet another travel videos as I show you 10 free things you can come and do here in Mombasa. Okay, when I say free, I mean more of affordable that, that you don't necessarily require, eh, require, you don't necessarily require any charges to do. It is only in Mombasa where you can get to enjoy a free ferry ride across crossing to Likoni from the ferry station. Now, this is something you should definitely definitely try and make sure you have this experience. It, it becomes a little bit chaotic because it has like lots of people, but it's an enjoyable ride and I promise you, you will love it because the ocean is so, 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 so beautiful. So definitely make sure you enjoy this ferry ride anytime you come to Mombasa whether you're crossing over to Diane or you're just in Mombasa itself I am currently chilling at Mamangena Street which is basically more of a park where you can come and chill out with your friends hang out on your own and just have a good amazing calm time one good thing with this place is the fact that you enjoy the cool breeze that is coming from the ocean and actually that makes this place stand out above everything else also the government has done a good a good job of maintaining this place like before the last time i came there were no cabros as they have maintained the place and the area looks so beautiful also on other days you can find activities happening here like previously a week ago the world tourism day occurred in this similar location also if you want to try kenyan snacks you can definitely come here they sell some mihogo which is fried cassava you can enjoy some ice cream water whatever snacks some activities to do you can do horse riding you can do camel riding you can you can you can come and cycle from here like it's just a good place people don't necessarily swim from here because like it's not a beach side but it's a good place to come and chill and enjoy some time and reflect on life and just have an easy time as they say here in Mombasa it is Hakuna Matata so here you just have a good time and so let me continue enjoying the beautiful nature that this world has to offer So apparently there's someone swimming there. I don't know if you guys can see him. But oh there there he is, he's come up. And then Okay, quick short story that had ever happened once I visited this Mamangena waterfront area some time back. So this place you're not supposed to swim. And at some point we decided to go down there and experience how there it feels. So uh we went down there and we found some couple who had just been arrested by a police because they had been found making out down there at the pool. So my encouragement and my recommendation for you, just chill around this area where you see people, you know, it's more safe in terms of insecurities and all that and you won't have issues with the police. Anyway, that was just a quick story. That was one couple that I think had come for some romantic honeymoon vibe you know anyway let's continue with what you should do once you come here now you also know what you shouldn't do so something else you can do here you can come and take a walk all the way down there like you can see those people right now is low tide low tide so definitely the water has gone away but when high tide comes the water will come up to this other point so not encouraged not advised to take that walk around that time but right now it's safe and they have actually enlonged the Mamangena drive so we are still at the Mamangena drive I'm her sister let's spy she caught us hi so right now we are standing outside Mombasa Golf Club and another thing you can do is you can take a walk from Mombasa uh, Mamangena street all the way to this other end it has a beautiful view and the environment is chill if you're able to just like literally bear the sun, it's not as sunny because it's windy 
all along the way. So barely we look in the heat, hitting your body. Anyway, I enjoyed the walk. You come seeing people, they play golf. And yeah, and if you're interested in street food also, you can enjoy yourself. So let's spy on my sister again and get her, get her unawares. Ha <laughs> ha. Yes, a tuk-tuk ride is one of the noisiest thing, but you get to enjoy to see the view of the city and even as you walk around in the tuk-tuk ride as it takes you from one place to another. And definitely, it is a ride you will enjoy. If you don't have tuk-tuks in your place, here you're going to have fun riding in one from one place to another. And it's cheap. Believe me, it's affordable. Okay. So, of course, you saw this coming. Definitely, one more thing that you can do here in Mombasa is come and visit Fort Jesus. They charge 200 Kenya shillings for you to go and explore inside there. So, apparently, I have already done a whole vlog on me in Fort Jesus that I'm going to link in the description box. You can come and learn the whole history about Fort Jesus and all things to do with slave trade, Portuguese, and all that stuff. But this is a historical site which is famously known here in Mombasa. Yeah, so I'm just basically going to take photos here today because I was bringing you to show you places you can come and see. From here, I'm going to take you to another place close to Port Jesus that you can also come and enjoy. So I am coming to you from Old Town Street. Also, you can come to Mombasa and make sure you come and enjoy this walk around this place and enjoy taking photos here at I Love Mombasa because why not? Anyway, we are just about to enjoy a walk around Mombasa. In a previous video, I have also taken you around Mombasa in my other places of exploring Mombasa, which are in the description box so you can check that out. Besides that, we will never have enough of this place. Also, it has kept on developing, so like it has changed, like there was a route that would take you directly to see the ocean from that side, which is not there anymore. And then we have the cabros have been well maintained. Yeah, so let's take a walk and enjoy all stuff. So as you can see, this is old town, pretty old, yeah, but pretty beautiful. If you love design, these beautiful houses and architecture, things to do with architecture, old town is a must visit. Are you in Mombasa? The perfect place of the country is so loud. So are you in Mombasa? The perfect place to come and eat that I have tried before is Farazani restaurant. I've also had many people review this place and it's definitely a good chill place for you to come and enjoy some meal. So just suppose you don't know where it is, just past the post Jesus, take a small walk to Old Town and you're going to get to Faradani restaurant and I'm going to give you a small snippet of what Faradani restaurant is all about. Yeah, so that it's pretty affordable to eat at Farazani and it's just delicious food. So this is for Rodani restaurant and because it's a holiday that's why it has more people. But a certain guy offered for us to go and see what we have in this shop. So let's go now and take it out. Huh? Hmm? Yeah, so beautiful. So if you come here, come say you have bought things courtesy of Damaris Jenga and you will get a commission for yourself and whatever you're going to buy of up to 10%. So enjoy, enjoy seeing what is offered in this shop. If you want to buy any souvenir, this is the perfect oh, wow. place to buy. It's so beautiful. Everything here is so beautiful. Let me just give you a small snippet of this shop. So 
apparently I'm told that the president, our first president of Kenya when he was taken into prison, 1952. Crazy. So buying such an art for your house. Legend things, legendary stuff. not been to Mombasa, if you have not visited Omoi Avenue, just to come and see the task, the very, the heart, okay, I keep saying task, the heart, the very famous elephant task, heart, so because of that, let us enjoy a little history about the heart, that one, so initially there was only one heart, then when the development continued and another road was brought up, they built another one, which I highly suspect that was the first one built. And then this is the second one that was built so that it could match to the two. So if you come to Mombasa, don't fail to come and just see this elephant has. Has? Yes, has. So we are now crossing over to the other side so that we can go and see Uhuru Park which is the park around this place. Did I say Uhuru Park? Let me confirm the name once I get there. So apparently I told you this park is called Uhuru Park. Nope, it's not called Uhuru Park, it's called Uhuru Gardens. It is just outside those elephant paths. And you can definitely come and chill, come and enjoy seeing just what a park normally has. Of, of course, once you come to check photos with the tasks. You can enjoy yourself here at this park or garden and just chill. And there are so many birds and there are trees. So it makes it calm and cool after you have been hit by the sun because of walking along old Mombasa town. So yeah, now we are in the new town, if I didn't mention. There's nothing much to do in this park, but if you enjoy hearing the sounds of birds, this is a perfect place for you to come and enjoy and just feel the birds uh, making their noise and just singing and you just reflect and relax, you know? Yeah, but right now I can hear some Muslim, they are most close. You can hear it, that is operating right now. Yeah, so let me take you to a water body that is around this place. You can hear the sound of the birds. Interesting. I think you can get bored here because of the sound of the birds and also a chill area for you to just chill and listen to vehicles as they pass along yeah. there, you know. I think this is more ideal than the Uhuru Park in Nairobi. If you want to chill, if you just want to chill and you're somewhere in town or something. So this is also the water body and there they've grown some Africa. That is where, yeah. I think if I'm not dreaming, sometimes back there is some water flowing and now it doesn't. Another bonus for everyone who got to this part of the video is that yes, you can go to Mirikiti Market or even Kongoya Market in Mombasa and just experience what they sell, the goods they sell. And yes, I did visit there and that video is in the description box where I showed you the challenge of spending $10 in Mombasa. Apart from that, guys, thank you so much for getting to this part of the video. I really greatly appreciate your company and you enjoying my video. I look forward to more informative content to bring to you as we continue with our coast exploration also remember there are more videos you can watch entertain yourself enjoy and share with your friends i will see you in the next one see you tomorrow